welcome me for the 48th time welcome to same cast different day podcast thank you all for tuning in to this episode i just want to say this is the final episode of season two so thank you all who tuned in and listened to the podcast we are almost at 700 downloads so thank you all very much for tuning in and being a part of this podcast and please make sure that you share this podcast with your friends and yeah so anyway (laughs) i'm just excited so there's a few things that i want to talk about but first okay first there's this teacher who uh, basically talked about how brianna taylor basically i'm just going i'm going to play the clip for you guys so just give me one second i'm gonna play the clip and then we're going to talk here we go You know, when you hang out with people with guns that shoot at cops, you're likely to get caught in the crossfire. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm confused. Uh, Dr. G is on the on the on the announcements reading about what's her name, Brianna something. The one that was killed in the gunfire from the cops. She was hanging out with the guy who was wanted on charges. They not. They are that and 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 he fired at them and they fired back. You know, if you hang out with people who are criminals and they shoot at a cop, you're likely to get caught in the crossfire. It does not matter what color your skin is, you're likely to get caught in the crossfire. I, I'm sorry, she's. I really, truly, I, I'm, it, it's sad that she put herself in that position. But she put herself in that position by hanging out with somebody she shouldn't have been with. That's her boyfriend, which means she can't be right on Okay, here's the thing. She was with her boyfriend who was a criminal. That's not, that was her ex-boyfriend. They came to the wrong house. We had to keep a real So that is what, that is what the teacher said, tried to justify. And like everybody know that the person that they were looking for was completely wrong, guys. The guy they claim was her boyfriend. They broke into her house, as you know. It was the wrong guy. They were simply sleeping in their bed. Police came into the house and started shooting and killed Breonna Taylor, which is some complete bull crap. And for this teacher to get away with saying that and still seem like she have a job is complete bull crap. And then tried the nurse and try to say it was Breonna Taylor's fault that she got killed. She blamed her own Breonna Taylor's own death on herself that she got killed when she wasn't even associated with this person that she claimed is um basically almost like a a bad person or a menace to society. But this is her apology statement here. McCoy, um, I want to apologize sincerely publicly for um, the things I said today in my class that had to do with something that I was very ignorant about. I am, I'm just heartbroken that I said something so rude and disrespectful. And I want my students to know I really truly, truly apologize and feel just heart sick over the, the distrust and the, and the hurt that I caused when I made these comments. All I can do is say I'm so sorry. I, I should never- Ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back, Susan. No turning back at this point. We, you just proved that you're another ignorant woman. There, it's just there's just no turning back at this point. And for people like this to still have their job or to turn a blind eye to what's going on or to try to educate our our, our young youth that that certain things like this is our fault. It's not our fault. She was not putting she. Brianna Taylor did not put her stuff in that situation. And that's all I want to say about that. Right. Moving along. So, uh, aspiring rappers are saying that um, the game is basically conning aspiring rappers out of money. So, this is according to wrapup.com. Uh, according to a report from the Foo community uh, via Hip Hip Hop DX, the Compton rapper has been soliciting random rappers on social media for a spot uh, on his compilation mixtape. The reports claim that he was sending direct messages. Uh, where am I at? Direct messages like, I see you working before offering them a slot. No one on his SoundCloud. No one. <laughs> I keep messing up. 
um, on his SoundCloud mixtape channel in exchange for five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Basically, he's going to basically tell these people, "Hey, I'm gonna give you a slot. Like, you pay me five hundred dollars, five hundred to a thousand. Basically, I'm gonna give you a slot as like a feature on my song, uh, as a feature on one of my songs, and I'm gonna upload it onto SoundCloud. Basically, and basically give them, uh, you know, so people can know who they are. Basically, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, however. The rapper, uh, the rappers complain that he posts the songs on an unofficial SoundCloud account called the Game Playlist, with only 350 followers instead. And his official account, and his official account. In addition, he doesn't market it on Instagram or Facebook, nor make any make a, a make an appearance on any of the songs. Uh, the app reports. The aspiring MCs are upset. They are tricked into uh, thinking Game wanted to work with them and give them exposure, but when <clears throat> it was merely to get them to buy a spot on his mixtape, they're upset because he gives them a false sense of hope, and maybe one day they can collab together, says the report. Wow. You stay, is, is this because that, um, that last album that you had put out, Game, that you... I think you had to get, like, all your royalties to, like, your ex-baby mama or something like that or some some crazy mess that happened. I don't know, game. If this is really true, this is all allegedly supposed to happen. If this is true, you ought to be ashamed of yourself and to con in these young artists thinking that they have a shot. They can have a shot at mainstream media <clears throat> and all this other stuff. You just should be just ashamed of yourself. This makes me wonder how many other artists actually do this. Like, especially... Uh, it just it just really make you think like how many other people actually do this, you know? Ask these people for, for money or say hey, you know, submit your song and you know it'll get featured on such and such or it will play it on such and such and stuff just never happen. Ugh, the music industry is just brutal. It's disgusting. Oh, just remember, I just remember, I want to do this at the beginning of the podcast. So if you haven't watched American Idol, I just want to say congratulations to Rhonda Fulton, who is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here where I'm at. Who now resides in Arizona? Who made it to? Who basically moved on to the next round on American Idol? So I just want to send out a huge, huge congratulations to you, Rhonda Felton. I'm sorry, it's Rhonda Felton. Rhonda Felton. I'm sorry, Rhonda Felton. I'm so sorry. I had to pause for some reason. I I, I hate that it's starting because it's starting to warm up here in Wisconsin, and I am an allergy sufferer. <laughs> And still with this pandemic going on and my allergies acting up, you know, as soon as you sneeze, people are looking at you like, hmm, like, no, I don't have the Rona. I'm sorry. Speaking of Rona, you know, I'm going to do it again this week. <gasps> Please make sure y'all go out. Yes, I have to be that dramatic. Please make sure that you go out and get your vaccines. Vaccines are very important. <clears throat> If you get your vaccine and you happen to come in contact or con- contract the coronavirus, there is a 100% chance that you will not be hospitalized or end up dead compared to somebody who doesn't get the vaccine. So please make sure that you get your vaccines. Vaccines are very important. If you want things to go back to normal, please go get your vaccines. And please, do, speaking of Texas, and this whole ending y'all mask mandate thing, once again, y'all just keep doing the dumbest of the dumbest of the dumbest. I don't know who these people are that y'all are voting in, but y'all just keep doing the dumbest of the dumbest of the dumbest. And I just cannot figure out what it is. First, your power go out. Your power grid is horrible. You rely completely on bull crap for your power grid. I mean, I get the whole, nah, whatever. Y'all got going on with your power grid. I get it. But... And it's just for a way for the people to make money. So, because y'all didn't, they didn't want to regulate y'all power grid down there just because they didn't want the federal government to come over and to come and take over and tell them that they got to do this, this, and that. And it's just more profit for them. And if some of y'all got to pay like 10, 10,000, 17,000, 20,000 dollar bills, like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Anyway. But to lift the mask mandate against CDC recommendations and Dr. Fauci's recommendation, like what is wrong with y'all, Texas? Like, are y'all asking for a death wish? And then for the people who go and participate in what they call the meal text thing, please just stay down there. Don't come back here with, uh, from being down there wearing no mask, acting a plum fool and all this other stuff. Cause just like they just had that fight 
uh, like my brother said last night on the wine cast at that skybox place and nobody was wearing a mask it was just a hot mess ew like people like get it together like i i get it everybody's sick of the mask everybody's sick of this coronavirus everybody's sick of it yes we get it everybody is sick of it but until everybody does their part this will not end until everybody does their part just wear the mask get the vaccine so that everything can just go back to normal and you can go back to being the dumb idiot that you are i'm i'm just saying all right the last thing that i want to talk about before i go is the randy orton and soldier boy beef now if you're not clear who randy orton is randy orton is i believe a 14 or 15 time wwe world champion in wwe who he has been in a company now for nearly 20 years soldier boy is a rapper i don't know does he even have a grammy award or something what has such a point? Anyway, um, so uh, basically, R- Randy Orton, I'm not Randy Orton. Soldier Boy went on social media to say that the rep, the rep game was faker than um, WWE, and like I said, everybody know that WWE is scripted. Um, we know that winners are predetermined we all know that at the end of the day it's entertainment but what they do in that ring uh the chair shots that they take the you know the equipment they get hit with the slamming everything like if you were to like literally uh cut open like that padding that's between them and just strict wood is very thin so they're feeling every last one of those bumps that you thought they wouldn't feel so what they do in that ring is very, very much real and does does work to their body. It's, it's a lot of pain, and so you know, Randy, or not Randy, Soldier Boy went on to say how much, how basically how fake it is. <clears throat> so, uh, so so I mean, I think so. Randy already went back and tweeted, "You spin facts seems like, uh, seems like all you spin is the same mess you rap about. Nut clear, you, nut clear your throat, my dog, and be there." Enough talk, back it up, is what Randy Orton said. And then Soulja Boy says, if you mad because I spit facts that you, wait, if you, wait, if you mad because I spit facts, just say that. What you don't, what you do is fake, I stand on that. What I do is real, come to the, come to your world, laugh aloud, welcome to Soulja World. Okay, so, and then, so, Randy Orton comments, uh, Crank that came out in 07. You had a hell of a year. Seriously, hats off to your dude. Uh, here's the thing, though. I like rap. I bump that shit all day, whether it's Tucci, Meek, Jay-Z. But you call what you do to survive fate. You call what I do to survive fate. Fuck that. Come to my world and say that. Um, yeah. Uh, and then it goes on to continue. Um, P.S. I don't know. Is this S S A M B E N I T? I don't know who that is. Would beat the fuck out of you. Um, why? How? Because he's he's seen our world respect and knows that <laughs> it takes it takes and find my and find himself lucky to be a part of it. You will feel you want to talk fate. Pawn that cheap ass chain and come <laughs> work for it. You one hit wonder ass motherfucker. And then he goes on to say. Fake Dre, this uh, prick to set up. He don't like movies. Consider us actors to do that do stunts without pads. Two hundred days a year. Oh God, this is a lot. And and don't bitch when we get surgically repaired and come right back. Consider us a hundred times tougher than anyone you come across. Ain't nothing but a bitch. <laughs> oh, so he was coming for Soldier Boy. Um. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm being real to, I'm being real to wrestling. Don't play with me, Randy Orton. That's basically what uh, Soldier Boy has said. And yeah. So anyway, Randy. I mean, Soldier Boy. I mean, to, to be honest, Randy Orton is actually more famous than you. He's actually more well known than you. I mean, really, outside of the black community and some of the white kids who think they're black, like, Soulja Boy, who really knows who you are? Do, like, do you have a Grammy, at least? Like, you might have, at most, have an EBT award at the best. 
So Soldier Boy, you really need to stop it. And like I said, if you think it's so fake, you do need to go to the world train step. Go like Gerald Briscoe said. You know, he will send you to the hospital. Go down to Gerald Briscoe's gym and train and see how you how fake you think it is because they put a lot on the line that they because if they're not careful they can literally die like a lot of that stuff had to be just die strategically planned out to prevent deaths from happening for the sake of entertaining millions of people around the world so soldier boy like i said at the end of the day if you want to want to go and you need to go down and see for yourself and experience it for yourself and see how fake it is Anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Same Cast Every Day Podcast. Uh, thank you all for listening. Um, season 3 will be starting in a few weeks, so I'm so excited about that. There'll be new theme music. Um, there's some new um, artwork that's going to be getting put out. Uh, Tina Marie will be joining me for Season 3. We'll make her return to Season 3. So I'm so excited about that. So anyway, yeah. So thank you all for tuning in and listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast because subscribing and sharing and uh no subscribing and most of you mostly is really really helps the podcast so thank you if you're a subscriber thank you um yeah so make sure you subscribe to the podcast uh, you can follow me on facebook which is at martel Roland, um and on twitter and twitch oh no i'm not on twitter sorry i'm not on twitter you can follow me on uh not twitch either why did i say twitch oh my god what is on my mind i'm on tiktok at martel Rowland and instagram at martel Rowland. you can find the podcast on facebook twitter and instagram on on twitter and instagram it's at scdd podcast and you can find the, the podcast on facebook which is same cast different day podcast on facebook so thank you all for tuning into this episode and i will see you in a few weeks